Good morning. Get comfy here. How's everyone doing? I want to, I had a thought this morning. I'm always having early morning thoughts. And I said, you know, I want to share my, my thinking with you guys. So this thing that I'm going to share with you today may very well be the reason why you're not profiting in your business or your brand the way you desire to, why you're working harder than you have to, and why you feel like you're a slave to your business. So you see in the title, it says, casting your pearls to the wrong people. This is going to be good, guys. When I you know, got this download, I get all these downloads. Um, I was actually working with a client yesterday. She was like, how do you come up with all this stuff? Guys, it is years of experience. I've been an entrepreneur for over 28 years. It's the relationships that I've built with people who know more than what I do. Um, it's definitely my relationship with God. I believe the Holy Spirit inspires me a lot because God really, good morning, Christy. God really, really desires for us to prosper um, and be in health, you know, even as our soul prospers. And he doesn't desire for us to work under the curse. I'm trying to tell you guys. This is going to be good. You guys do me a favor. If you're coming on, um, be sure to share the broadcast out with another woman in business you feel could use the message. Um, also, do me a favor. If I say something that helps your business or your life um, in any measure throughout the broadcast, Hit the like or the heart button. Let me know that it's registering for you. Let me know this is what you're needing in your entrepreneurial journey to help you push forward and soar in the things that you're facing on a daily basis, monthly basis, or you know, just throughout processing everything you need to do to um, create the business that you love, one, and the lifestyle that you love as well. Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. Candace. Good morning, dear. I don't know if I've ever seen your name on a broadcast, but you know what, guys? I'm rarely broadcasting live on my business page, I mean, on my personal page. So I used to probably for about <clears throat> at least a good year and a half. Well, I've been consistent for probably about three years broadcasting at a specific time. And um, I opened my 3D Success Academy for women in business and I needed to direct some of my energy there. So I'm doing some spontaneous broadcasts um, and, you know, several videos that I'm placing up as well so that I can manage my time in um, what I'm doing now. So you guys, listen, casting your pearls in front of the wrong people. So this morning when I got up, I had this download. I had this thought about something that I shared maybe three to four years ago. And when I realized, you know, the, the, um, the concept of what I was being downloaded, the, <clears throat> the memory, it made me think about my clients. And so I, came back on. I said, I'm going to come on and reshare this story. Hey, Patrice, how are you, dear, with you guys and see if you guys get all of the good good that I got from it. So a few reasons why I want to reshare the story. One, I'm able to articulate it differently and really align it with business and um, what's going to impact and help you now. Two, for those of you who have followed me for quite some time, this is really, really, really going to resonate with you. And three, for those of you, this is your first time. You're like, who's this lady? How, I mean, why is she qualified to talk to me about my business and my brand? This is going to help you see how I work with clients and possibly how I can help you. So I read a story probably... <clears throat> maybe five or six years ago, but I shared it maybe three or four years ago on my social media platform. And there was a little boy who went to his father and asked him what was the value of his life? You guys got to follow me. This is so good. What was the value of his life? So his father gives him a stone and tells him to take the stone to market to go and sell it, you know, to attempt to sell it. He said, now, when you go to sell it, don't say anything. When someone asks you how much it is, just hold up two fingers, right? 
So first he tells the little boy to take it to a market. Let's just say a flea market. I think that'll register for everybody. So the little boy takes the stone to market. He holds up two fingers and a lady approaches him and says, hey, I'll, how much is the rock? I want to buy it. I'm going to put it in my garden. Hey, Russell, how are you, dear? So the little boy just holds up two fingers and the lady says, I'll give you $2 for the rock. Now, the little boy was instructed not to actually make the exchange with the person. So he went back home and he told his dad, he said, dad, someone offered me $2 for the rock. His dad said, okay, now, or stone. His dad said, okay, now I want you to take the same stone to a museum, right? If they ask you how much you want to sell the stone for, just hold up two fingers, don't say anything. So the museum director tells the little boy, I like the stone that you have. I'll give you $200 for it. So of course, you know, the little boy doesn't sell the rock. He goes back home. He tells his dad he's super excited because the rock that was seemingly valued at $2 is now valued at $200, right? So his dad said, I have one more place that I want you to take the rock. <clears throat> I want you to take the rock to a precious stone dealer. So the little boy grabs the rock. He takes the rock to a precious stone dealer. He goes in. He's greeted by um, a representative inside the place. The representative adverts him over. Hey, Sierra, dear, inverts him over to the precious stone dealer, the person who does the, um, you know, they kind of look and, and make a decision on what the value of the precious stones are. So the dealer says, how much do you want to sell the stone for? Good morning, Crystal. How are you, dear? The little boy holds up two fingers, right? And the precious stone dealer says, I'll give you $200,000 for the stone. I hope y'all caught that. If you caught that, tap the screen for hearts. I'm going somewhere. Because, so let me get back to the story because I'm so excited about the ability to be able to share this with you so that you can look at your business and your brand and you know, get some ahas. So the little boy goes back home to his father. And he was like, dad, somebody was willing to give me $200,000 for the stone. Now guys, nothing changed about the stone. Lord have mercy. Y'all don't hear me. Nothing changed about the stone, right? So the stone still had the same value when it was in the marketplace at the flea market. It had the same value when it was at the museum. It had the same value when it was at the precious but what really happened, guys, see, and many of you are undervaluing your gifts and your talents. You're second guessing, you know, what your value is in the marketplace. So you're undercharging for your products and your services. And it's not because the value of what you have isn't valuable. Y'all don't hear me. It's because of who you're casting it in front of. Somebody tap the screen. You guys share this. Keisha Shawana Foreman, good morning. So I, the client that I was thinking about when I got this particular download this morning, I recently had a call with her. I'm going to walk you guys through the journey that that client has had with me. It's so aligned with the story that I remembered this morning. I thought it was a great way for you guys to maybe just reevaluate how you're looking at your value and your worth and your positioning. So positioning is something that I help my clients to do. I'm going to walk you guys kind of like a through a trajectory of how I've helped this particular client that I was thinking about when I thought about this particular story. So I have a client who began working with me about three years ago. When she first started working with me, she just took every class I had, guys. Now, she was only at maybe 30K in her business. Many of you are watching. Some of you might be 80K, 100K, multiple six figures. But what happens, the same principles and concepts multiply whatever it is that you have. I'm just showing you guys the trajectory that has she has walked through in working with me and what really happened. So it wasn't like her value really changed. Y'all don't hear me. So when she first started working with me, she was probably at, you know, maybe her 30,000 mark. So she took all the classes and courses, got strategies for an entire year. And then she just kind of took a year off from coaching with me and just continued to apply the strategies over and over and over again. So she's at her 60K mark, right? So she reaches back out to me. She comes to a conference. Um, and 
up for my next level program. So I'm the founder of 3D Success Academy for Women in Business. And that particular academy was founded off of many of my signature courses for which she took before, but it's now been expanded into an academy. The next level position is a mastermind that I host. So she's actually in my mastermind now. Y'all stay with me. So from her like 30 to 60K mark, this is her applying those strategies, putting them into play. She comes to a conference. Now her weeks are turning into about an 80K mark. Now since she's, that was then, right before she joined the mastermind. The next thing that she did for three months, we've been in the mastermind. She is on target for 125K in her business. Now whatever it is you're making, don't necessarily think about the numbers as much as you think about the multiplication that has happened. So what happened, one, this particular client used to train in a corporate environment. So she trained for a corporate company. She worked for a company prior and she just was unable to see her value. So what was happening was she was doing these great services. One, she didn't understand what her gifts and her superpowers were. So inside the academy, one of our segments is called discovery, where I help you to discover what your superpowers are, what your gifts are, because what she was doing was doing a whole lot of stuff. She was exerting her energy into 50,000 things. But when she was able to get clarity on, on her good thing, right, she could make that good thing great and not focus on so much, guys, it's overwhelming. And many of you have things that you're gifted at, you're talented at, but you're doing too much stuff for that thing to even be exposed. So it's covered up by 50,000 other things. So we got clear on what that was. We got clear on who she was as a brand. And then we got clear on who would find value in it. So let's go back to the story. Remember that same stone, when they took it to the flea market, people were saying, I'll give you $2 for it. Then they took it to the museum. They were saying, I'll give you 200 for it. But when they took it to the precious stone dealer, which was the people who would find value in what it is he was offering, which is what I help my clients do. So we go through this uh, segment called brand clarity. Now, guys, I go over brand clarity completely different from the branding that you've been exposed to. And I know I do because I happens in my clients. So once we go through brand clarity, we then go through identifying your perfect people. So maybe you do have this amazing gift or this amazing service that you're, you're offering, but you're casting it in front of the wrong people. You're casting all those pearls, all those precious stones in front of the wrong people who are not going to find value for it. Listen, I'm going to tell you all something that I personally believe is happening. Well, one of, one of the, let me, let me go here. So three things that I focus on when I'm working with my clients on branding, building, and profiting in their business is abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. I feel they're the perfect three. But abundance mindset is huge because it's probably about 80% of what's going on in our business. And so oftentimes we are, um, some of you are unable to position yourself in front of the people who are going to find value or even price your products and services properly because of faulty relationships that you've had before. I know you're like, how in the world does this connect with me pricing my business and my services and my products? How does it connect, Tanya? So when I say faulty relationships, what normally happens when we've been in faulty relationships that who can't identify our value or our worth, they usually speak to us from a lower space. I'm just going to keep it 100. They usually speak to us from a lower space and it's no shade, but it's where their mind is at. And so because they're unable to see your worth, they don't have the capacity or your value. They don't have the capacity to even uh, move you into position. So many of you have been in, you know, connections or relationships that have impacted your self-esteem. Guys, it shows up in your business. I call it identity theft because it's not because you're not valuable. It's not because the value of what you're offering isn't good. It's because you haven't been in an environment that can see the full potential that you have and that has the capacity to position you in the right space. 
guys, we looked at the guy, you know, the same thing went $2, $200, $200,000. And what's happening is sometimes you're casting your pearls and giving it to the first bidder and you're positioned in the wrong place. So who you're actually offering your services to makes a huge difference. I go through a track inside of our, our academy where we identify who your perfect people are based on the value that you're offering in the marketplace. So let's go back to the client that I started thinking about when I thought about this story that I shared before. This client is now, this is, this is good. It's, I mean, it's so fulfilling to me because when people can change the trajectory of their income, it changes their lifestyle and it impacts their family and it impacts the legacy that they leave. Now, legacy is not necessarily completely about money, but how you make people feel can be um, impacted by how you are responsible, right? How you're able to be responsible. So her client is now on track. Now, remember, we just started with 30,000. She's on track for 125K a year. She's hitting $2,500 weeks. That's with her providing a service to her customers. Now, a few things have changed. Not only has her income increased, but the amount of time that she's working has decreased. So some of you may do 40 clients in order to reach that. She's only doing 20. She's only working two and a half to three days per week. So she's her amount of days that she works is less than it was before. She's earning more money. And now she's in my next level um, opportunity, which isn't open right now. I'm just sharing this with you guys. It's my mastermind. So in three months, we've already created a product that becomes um, something, it becomes income for her. It becomes a lead magnet for her that will lead people into another opportunity that she has. It also becomes a lead magnet for her to attract people to bring into her business, right? Who would want to work for her. So they'll duplicate her services. Now she's going to be working even less. And then we created a signature course. And this is going to put her in her 200, 250,000 range. Now, the thing about this, guys, is some of you may be in your six-figure range or multiple six-figure, but how much work are you having to do in order to do it? Are you missing time with the kids? Are you stressed out because you have to do something for the kids? Um, are you able to go to events? Are you taking time for self-care? Does your business have you being a slave to your business? So your value, your gifts, the things that you have, most oftentimes I find the people that come to work with me, it's not because they are not skilled at something. They do have a level of expertise um, that they have. It's because they're positioning it in front of the wrong people. So what I do is I help them with brand clarity, um, help them to define who their perfect people are, help them to position themselves to profit, and then give them a strategy for it. So one of the things I did with the same client recently, we did her 12-month marketing plan and her, her brand strategy. Now, the relief she says she found in that was, I don't have to think about like, what I'm going to post, what am I going to uh, promote in my business? It's done, right? But we were able to do that simply and quickly because she'd already gone through brand clarity. So your brand clarity is the thing that determines all of the other stuff that you do. It makes the process of you working smarter and not harder. My mission is to help more women um, run businesses where they're working smarter and not harder so that they can commit time to the things that they value and they love. Listen, here's another reason why some of you are not charging your value because sometimes you just lack the exposure. So maybe you've only been to the flea market. Listen, this is no shade, guys. Do you guys feel me? Somebody tap the screen for hearts if you understand what I mean by everything that I'm sharing. It's just reality, right? Sometimes we simply have not been in the environment that will allow us to see how to position ourselves differently. So the little guy, if he had only gone to the flea market, he would have been thinking all this time that what he had was only valued at $2. Y'all don't hear me. So sometimes it's simply lack of exposure. I remember <clears throat> when I first started off in entrepreneurship, I had this idea of what you know it was to do what I did. But it wasn't until I got into the space of my mentor who was running nine locations 
advertising on BET. It was just a whole nother level. That level of exposure and how business was really done differently, like a well-oiled machine, how marketing, how branding was done differently made me look at business completely different. It's because I had been exposed to something on a new level. It made me up level what I understood my value was in the marketplace. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. These people paying what for what? So then I began to identify who those people were that would find value in what I offered. I learned a lot about my perfect people. And then all of my marketing, all of my strategies, everything that I did was in alignment with connecting with those perfect people, hey auntie, and letting them know that I had things that could help them, right? Whatever their problem is. So really guys, um, money is really you just solving a problem. And you gotta figure out what the problem is that you're solving and who you're solving it for. If you're solving problems for people at the flea market, listen, I'm just keeping it 100, right? Then of course, that's the value of what they're going to feel because it's all mindset, guys. It's all mindset. So you can take the same stone to the flea market and the museum and the precious stone dealer, same value, right? And someone will quote you a different price for it. So I wanted to share that with you all today. If you feel that, you know, your brand and your business isn't profiting the way you desire it to profit, I invite you to join 3D Success Academy. Now, I already know one of the things that sometimes concerns people when they think about the academy because I've had hundreds of people to click on the link because I can measure the, the metrics is the, the amount of time that they're spending in the academy. And I want to ask you guys a question. So it's a year long opportunity. It's actually 10 months because we have what's called um, productive rest months and productive rest weeks. But do you not plan on spending this next year working on your business? And why not be in a space where you can get the answers to your next level? You can get the accountability to your next level. You can have the coaching from a next level perspective. I have clients who have triple, quadrupled their income um, by working with me and they work less. They work less. And see, mindset tells us that we got to work really, really hard. But if you put systems in place, acronym for systems, save you time, save you, S-Y-S, save you, goodness, save you, I forgot what it was, but there's a powerful acronym, some of it is save you time, energy, and money, oh, save yourself time, energy, and money, so I help, one, we define who people are as a brand. So this client that I was talking about began working with me three years ago. Immediately, one of the things I do with my clients is I find out where is it that you want to see yourself in your business in the next five years? Because five years is going to go by. Some of you have been watching me for four and five years. So we know that the time goes by and your level of what you're committing that time to is what makes the difference in your results. And so aren't you going to dedicate a year of, you know, focus on your business, right? So if time was ever an issue for you, um, <clears throat> I just think spending a year of focus changes the trajectory of your life and your business. So I invite you to join us inside 3D Success Academy. We're founded on three core pillars. It is destiny, dollars, and discipline. So your destiny, we find a trajectory or a path for where you'd like to be in four to five years. We reverse engineer it, create strategies for you to work on now and build it. So my client now has uh, produced, she's uh, created a product that she sells outside of what she does on a, well, not daily, but three or four days a week. We've created um, events for her. We've created signature courses. All of these things are going to add to the 125K she's on track to make. And so we're looking at two to 200,000, but the way she's going to make it. And it's also something that regardless of where she's at, what she's doing with me now, she can do it from anywhere, right? She's not location restricted. Um, it can be something that's offered online. I just want to see women creating real businesses that fund their lifestyle and not. I'd love for you to join us. The March enrollment ends on Saturday. 
Uh, there are four options to join. <clears throat> um, there is an amazing opportunity for those of you who want to do a one-time fee. Uh, you become VIP instantly for paying at a one-time fee level. Uh, then the there is a bi-weekly, a monthly, and I think a two-pay or, or something of that nature. But you guys can click the link at the top of this broadcast. Maybe you've been casting your pearls in front of the wrong people. So some of the frustration, you know, I... It it bothers me when I see women working really, really, really hard and they're working really, really, really hard because they're not in position. Their services aren't priced properly. Um, they aren't in front of the right people. I actually have a video that's going to be shown on my business page today, facebook.com. Those of you who aren't connected to me, I'm not always on my personal page. Click over there, click like, hit get notifications so you'll know when I'm live over there but I have a video coming up today um, and it's called work smarter not harder like are you really profiting in your business and I talk about four things to be aware of when you're pricing your services or, or looking at your profits because someone can earn a <clears> hundred <throat> K right and be working like a slave 200 K and only making $40,000 in profit and someone can earn 60K and be making 50,000 in profit. So the person making 50K is actually faring better. I just wanna help shift the trajectory of how we earn money, how we spend money and how we invest it as it relates to our business because it all impacts our life. This uh, month of March, I'm calling it monetize. The focus for this month is monetize. So do you have a gift, a talent that you've been overlooking um, it's maybe something that you're doing in your business now, but because you haven't been intentional about it, it's not yielding you the revenue that you really desire. I think your brand, you getting clear on your brand is one of the most valuable things that you can do. I love to support you in that process. Our academy is packed with transformational information. So not only do we focus on your business, we focus on your whole life. I believe that your life, your personal life, it rolls over into your business. Have some raggedy going on in your personal life. It will impact your business. And I'm speaking from experience, guys. I opened a brick and mortar service-based business, got married, had a baby, and was in a dysfunctional marriage. And I was stuck. I was overwhelmed, frustrated. And that's how I began creating strategies and systems um, to get unstuck, to increase my productivity and to allow me to really focus on a vision that was bigger than my past. Now we can create our destiny by design, which is what I help you do. It's actually one of the tracks inside the academy where we're designing your destiny, or you can embrace a destiny by default. And default is when you're just taking it as it comes. You just take, you're just putting out fires, taking it as it comes. You're not necessarily proactive with a plan. You're reactive, right, to, you know, whatever shows up now, let me go fix this. I just invite you guys to step into the next highest version of yourself if you're looking to brand your business differently, build it, and profit more. Um, join us inside the Academy, uh, renewfullcircle.com slash 3DA, renewfullcircle.com slash 3DA. Do me a favor. If you found value in the training today, be sure to click like or um, the heart button and be sure to share with another person on your timeline who's in business is just not charging their value. They're underestimating just how great they are and they're not positioning their products and services in front of the right people. Don't cast your pearls in front of the wrong people. For those of you who are believers, it says don't cast your pearl in front of the swine. Don't cash. I mean, they're not going to value it, right? It's all trash to them. It's all trash to the swine or the person who doesn't know the value of what it is you offer. No, they're not going to want to pay you um, what the value of what you have is. They're not going to want to pay you. And see, all of that is mindset. I ain't going to go too heavy in it because um, it's. it seems the more I share my truths about mindset and money and how people view it and value it, um, because when you're shifting to an abundant mindset, it often means you have to remove poor thinking. Somebody put that in the comments. You got to remove poor thinking. Thinking. Listen, some of you aren't 
operating in your true value because you're still trying to keep it real with people who can't help you. Lord have mercy. Still trying to keep it real with people who can't even help you, right? So sometimes you have to position yourself differently so that you can go back, not necessarily go back, but so that you can reach back and help them. And help, guys, is not always in helping people with their self-esteem. Sometimes you need to be in a position where you can help people with their economy. If you don't think we need money to do this, if you don't think we need to monetize this thing, try not paying your light bill, your car payment, your rent at your brick and mortar business, your cell phone that you, you own right now. Try just not buying the kids food for a whole month. Clothes, the activities your children need, repairs, things. Try just not doing that. Just go up to, you know, I love uh, this guy named Anthony Andrews statement that says, he said one time, you know, they were in a rough spot and they didn't have the money. And the electric company told him, it's cash or candles. It's cash or candles. So when I hear things like, you know, money isn't important, try making it out here without it. I want you all to be positioned completely different where um, you're not always trading your time for dollars and you're actually being positioned to be paid the value of your services and your products. And I hope you do that in our track in 3D Success Academy. Destiny, dollars, and then the disciplines necessary to make it happen. You guys have a super, super amazing day. Stop casting your pearls in front of the wrong people. It will shift the trajectory of your business and your results in your life. Peace.